Good morning, loves. This reading is for Cancer. Let's see about the messages we have for Cancer. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Messages for Cancer. You have shining through. All right, Cancer. And you also have broken open. So I think you're making some discoveries, Cancer. I think something is coming through for you. You also have the storyteller on the bottom. So it could be that you are a storyteller. You like to write stories. Let's get some moonology as well. What's going on with cancer? When I was meditating on your energy cancer, I saw the Ace of Cups. So I think something brand new is coming into your life, cancer. I think... love or something that you're very passionate about is coming close to you um, this could be a new relationship this could be and I'm fumbling around here so I, I think at this time cancer I think you you may be a little fumbly at the moment you're fumbling around the issues I think yeah, it says, look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Okay, Cancer, let's get some tarot to see what is going on with Cancer. Let's get the energy of Cancer. Spirit, can I have the messages that you have? for the sign of cancer. Yeah, I'm definitely fumbly. So I, I think maybe you are really fumbly at the moment, cancer. You're nervous. Oh, and you got the ace of swords. Okay. Now I was initially feeling the ace of cups, but you got the ace of swords. Oh, and you do have the lovers. Hey, what is coming in for you, Cancer? With the Ace of Swords, you're definitely coming into something new. You also have the Moon. Okay, strong messages for Cancer. Strong messages for Cancer. And the Knight of Cups. Okay, Cancer. So I really do think that if you're not in a relationship, you are going to begin a new relationship. This is going to bring new ideas of love. New ideas that are going to kind of fulfill you in ways that you haven't thought of before. And Cancer, I feel like if this isn't love or if you already have love, you're actually taking that to the next level. I feel like you are on this great journey, Cancer. You're making the right choices. You are building up your strength. And I feel like this person is actually really supporting you in whatever it is that you are deciding to do at the moment. You do also have the moon energy in the prop in the um, in the middle here. So I do think that you know there may be some unforeseen problems that you're not looking at, but I don't think that those problems are so 
um, overcomable that you can't endure through them. Um, I feel cancer that this moon card is just letting you know to stay on your right path and to trust yourself in the situation. Set yourself free from whatever was binding you in the past and move forward down the down this path. But I'm, I'm feeling like you are you're truly coming into your own cancer. That's how I'm feeling. You're truly coming into what makes you happy and you are you're finally coming to the realizations that you know if it's love that truly makes you happy you understand that you're not depending on the other person to make you happy you're coming into this situation uh, a fulfilled person What other messages do we have for cancer? We have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, Cancer, this may be someone who's maybe going to pop the question during the holidays. Um, if this is love in your life, I, I feel like they're actually coming. Your your prince charming or your princess charming um, is coming to propose something to you. They want to make this official. I feel like this is an idea that you haven't thought of. Yeah, you also have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Lots of Arcana here. Lots of major Arcana. You have the Queen of Swords. And you have Temperance. Okay, Cancer. At the bottom you have a Tower. So I feel like you're freeing yourself uh, to be in this situation. I feel like whatever foundations that you had built prior to this um, weren't strong enough to withhold what you need for the future. So I feel like um, your big changes that you're going through, this humongous change, this tower moment, is actually freeing you to be in this situation. This is something that you haven't thought of. This is something that is kind of unseen to you at the moment but you're going to come to those realizations that what was not strong enough was released and you're free from them you are free from them now in the bottom row you have the wheel of fortune and the queen of swords and temperance so i'm feeling like this is turning in the right direction for you this is something that you've been wanting for a long time and and I feel like you've kind of yearned for this cancer you've yearned for someone to come and make you feel complete and I feel that this Queen of Swords is giving you all the right information um, she's very honest and caring she's self-sufficient She's not going to tell you any lies. And I feel like that's what you really love about this person. Now this can be a male or a female. But I feel like they hold those, those qualities that you've been really looking for in past relationships and you weren't able to find. I feel like that's actually coming around for you. Because you also have the temperance card. Which is you coming in your total balance with this situation. I feel like you've had a lot of patience. You've been searching for the right person who um, was able to fulfill you and satisfy all of your needs. And I feel like this person is the one for you. And I apologize for my voice. My voice is a little crazy at the moment, but it's five in the morning, so that's the reason why.
<clears throat> we're going to take a, some more cards. And, you know, I want to clarify this reading just a little bit because it's very self-explanatory, I believe. But with this temperance card, I feel like you've taken control of your situation. You've taken control of yourself. You're, you're in healing and you're feeling more balanced. Let's get some cards to clarify. What is the advice? for cancer what advice do we have for cancer the empress okay beautiful energy I feel like you may have you may have wished this situation into existence and now you're Either this empress is your energy or this is your person's energy. And I feel like it's very beautiful. It's very abundant. It's very, it's everything that you want um, in a person. And you also have the five of swords. Okay. So I, I feel like in the past you've run away from things, but now you really want to stick them through. I feel like you have kind of come full circle, Cancer. You've had many relationships that didn't work out, and now you're still kind of holding on to those feelings, but... In order to make this relationship really flourish, I think those are things that you really want to work on releasing. And I feel like you're really working on yourself, Cancer. So I, I have total faith in you that you are releasing those things that no longer serve you so that you can walk into your future more abundant, more happy, more complete. Okay, and you also have the Nine of Swords. So I feel like in the back of your mind, I feel like you are really kind of anxious about this situation because you're not sure how to react because maybe you've been hurt a lot in the past. But with that blanket on the person with the Nine of Swords, you are protected, Cancer. You have protection. You're protected from those fears, from those doubts, from anxiety over the situation. Okay, two of them wanted to come out. So we have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so this is definitely a new beginning for you. At the bottom, you have the King of Cups. So, Cancer, and I believe the King of Cups, this is most likely your energy. Whether you're a female or a male, this is most likely your energy. The King of Cups, this is water. And you are water. So, and see, so you have the Queen of Pentacles here. <clears throat> and you also have Queen of Swords energy. So... This could be an air sign or an earth sign, I believe, that you're dealing with. Um, air is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And earth is Capricorn, um, Capricorn energy. Is it Taurus? Hmm. Don't hold me to that. Okay, but... This Queen of Pentacles, she's very self-sufficient. She's very independent. She is really resourceful when it comes to things. And she's also a very hard worker. And she's looking to deal with all the domestic things that you have to deal with in life. 
the ace of wands this is very fiery energy this is a fiery passionate new beginning and i feel like once you leave those fears behind you're going to get this ace of wands this ace of wands is going to come in like a shot straight through your heart and it's going to just give you some kind of explosion of just passion and happiness this is also um, you working on yourself you manifesting whatever it is in your life and, and I believe this ace of wands along with this ace of swords and I was visioning the ace of cups cancer this season right now is just enormous for you for new beginnings beautiful beautiful energy let's get a card from the universe to close out this reading let's get a card from the universe to close out this reading happiness is your birthright yes cancer you deserve all the happiness all the health all the wealth in the world when I lean on faith of the universe peace becomes real yes yeah, so I think this is going to be a time for you to flourish Joy is the ultimate creator. Yeah, so I, I believe that this season is going to be a very happy season for you, Cancer. That is your reading. And if you like, please take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity of your situation. Also, um, hit like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any further uploads. And many blessings to you, Cancer. Love and light.